actually had my grandmother just died. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, now this is what I, I need to ask you guys. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> just, just, this, just this one thing. Do me a favor, guys. Seriously. Can you stay? In Durban, I think it's fantastic that you guys are doing um, the Insanity League. You're bringing some serious comedy to Durban. Can you just stay? Because Durban has a long history of having the funniest people in South Africa leave Durban. Yeah. If you have a look at that long, you got Alan Adams, Joe Parker, Derek Gordon, uh, even the likes of uh, Colin Blismas. Moss, Koki Falco, John Blismas, All of these guys, they're all Durban boys and fled. Durban born and fled. Yes. Are oh, you guys going to stick around? Can you make that? Yeah. Well, well, I'm. I've got too many children to move. Really. <laughs> but um, you know, it's, it's just too much. Too much hard work. But, but you know, to be honest, the uh, part of the insanity league is that because sometimes Durban audiences are insane. And they think, well, we'll see it next week when it's finished. Yeah. And then people say, we'd rather go somewhere where the people actually come and see theatre. So there is that, that issue, you know. So really, we would love to. We love right, so, so if I want to come and watch the Insanity League yeah, tonight, must, how do must. I go about that? Step by step. Firstly, well, you're going to have to get in a car probably. To start okay, so Sam can't come. Unless you live oh, right next God. to me. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Us, maybe. Even so it's at the Elizabeth Snedden. Where do yes. I get tickets? Snedden Compute Ticket online mm -hmm. is the best, otherwise call their call center. I don't know if you have the number, but uh, yeah, online with Compute Ticket seems to be the bulk of the people book. It's the way to go. Yeah, yeah. and uh, phew, gee, I mean, we've, it's been fantastic, it really mm. is, but I, I, honestly, I do implore people to book quite quickly because it is, so you know, not being a tosser, it is <laughs> busy out there, guys, and uh, it's just one of those shows that seems to be, I don't know, it seems to be catching people's imagination. So. Well, I tell you what, I think I know why it's catching the imagination. You guys, you have a lot of fun. You're, it's fast-paced. You're covering a whole bunch of topics. And one of the things that you hit is um, is politics. Yeah, we have uh, a little in, go in at politics. Not in, over, go. We, we do say a couple of satirical sketches. I mean, there's a lot of mad, zany stuff in there as well. But, I mean, all of it funny. That's mm -hmm. the key. If that's, it's not funny, we throw it out. That's, yes. been our, that's been our bottom line. Well, here's my challenge to yeah. you, right? <clears throat> I, for me, one of the funniest things is when I saw it on a piece of paper saying, um, South African ministers are going green. And <laughs> I laughed immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out, no, that they, actually... Uh, talking about saving fuel, uh, uh, looking after the environment, and all of that kind of stuff. Would you do a quick insanity league angle on politicians going green? Can you do that for me? Yes, indeed, we can. All right, yes. ladies and gentlemen, Ara McElroy, John Van Alect, and Ben Foss from the Insanity League. Good morning, and welcome to Going Green. We have with us the Deputy Minister of the Environment, Dr. Nelly Reddy. Mm, thank you so much. Lovely that song was earlier too. It reminded me of that party gathering I had last night. A political party gathering. No swingers. Yes, Minister, is the government <laughs> serious about going green? No, we're deadly serious. I've mandated all the staff in my department to fly a uh, Karula along. You can't go greener than that. Well, it's not really about the colour. No, no, all the people in my department, no matter what colour, are going to fly Karula business. <laughs> <laughs> Minister, the government has been criticised as being inconsistent, tough on poaching perhaps, but then you allow fracking in the Karoo. Yes. You know, I think uh, married couples can frack wherever they like. I personally prefer the privacy of my own home. You know, sometimes in a swimming pool or sometimes in a car. Yes, yes, a trampoline, yes, yes, but you know, it's personal preference. Yes, yeah, we understand. Thank you, Minister. <laughs> Yesterday, I believe two white rhino were killed in Mpumalanga. Oh, uh, yeah. Why always the death of the white rhino that has been headlined? <laughs> why not the death of the black Rhino, and why is the white rhino twice the size of the black rhino? Well, they're different, they different species. No, no, the white rhino must give all its grazing rights back to the black rhino. Uh, black rhinos don't actually graze, Minister. Me do in Zimbabwe. <laughs> right, let's turn our attention to our seas, Minister. What is the government doing to stop the poaching of our seas? We have identified who the main culprits are. And who are they? Are the Japanese. What is the government doing to stop them? We are going to hit them hard where it hurts most. And where is that, Minister? Straight in the private parts. <laughs> <laughs> We're dead together! Yay! Insanity! Insanity! Insanity!